Hello. To, for this recording, I'll show you how to do question 1A of the 2009 semester 2 MST test paper. If u equal to i plus j and v equal to 2i minus j, find u dot v and the angle between u and v. Alright, so the first part, we are going to find out what is u dot v. Now in this case, you may refer to the Anton chapter 12 section 3 says that if you have two vectors, say u1, u2, and v, v1, v2, then the dot product of u and v is v1, v1 plus u2, v2. Same thing for if their vector have three components. Therefore, in this case, u dot v, you can say that this is equal to this 1i, so it's a 1 times 2, alright, so this is equal to 1 times 2, and plus 1j, and minus 7j, so this is 1j, Minus 7j multiplied together is 1 times minus 7. And in the end, this is equal to just a scalar. 2 minus 7 is equal to minus 5. So this answer for the first part of 1a. Now for the second part of 1a, we are going to find out what is the angle between u and v. Now in this case, we may want to recall the another geometrical definition of the dot product, which says that if you have two vectors u and v, and say the angle between them is theta, then we know that u dot v, the dot product between u and v, is the length of u, the length of v multiplied together, cosine theta. So, by doing get this, we know that earlier, our result of u dot v was minus 5. And what is the magnitude of u? The modulus of u and we find that u is i plus j, right? u is i plus j. So we write down modulus of u is modulus of i plus j. And modulus of v. Now, v we have is 2i minus 7j. So we put down 2i minus 7j for v modulus and then cosine theta. Now in this case, Minus 5, the modulus of i plus j is square root of 1 square plus 1 square, alright? And the modulus of 2i minus 7j is 2 square plus minus 7 square. Oh, notice that this is the sum of 2 square here. And so you get minus 5 equal to square root of 2 times square root of 53 cosine theta. So if we press the calculator, where is theta equal to cosine inverse of minus 5 square root 2 and 53 square 53 and this is approximately about 119 degree. What is the takeaway for this question here? So first of all, Take away is how to find u dot v. Algebraically, if u is u one i plus u two j u two three u three k, and say v is v one i plus v two j plus v three k.
then u dot v will be just u1 times v1 plus u2 times v2 plus u3 times v3 and this is a scalar huh? a scalar not a vector in this case and so this is one of the k take away for this question for this part of the question number one number two how does it related geometrically geometrically says that u dot v is equal to the length of u the length of v cosine theta where theta is an angle between u and v Alright, I hope you have this in mind. That is the end of this question 1A.